it's Billy P, the bilateral amputee. Hope everybody's doing well, staying healthy and safe. I know I am. Uh, staying quarantined in the house here with the lady and the kids. Doing pretty good. But anyway, uh, I've been getting a lot of questions online how I'll go to the restroom and everything. And today I'm actually going to show you how to go do number one without actually showing you how I'm going to do number one. I'm going to keep this rated G so everybody can watch it. But I'm going to kind of walk and talk you through the steps here how I do it. But here we go. I'm going to use this set of arms right here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these hooks, these ETDs, electric, electric terminal devices here, and just kind of bend them down a little bit to where that's what that does. It lets me get to my pants a little easier. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my right one, raise my shirt up a little bit, use my left one, open her up. Remember, I'm using my bicep and my tricep muscles to open and close and turn these. Grab my zipper, pull my pants down. Now, I'm just going to give you a suggestion. I suggest you do not open your hook and reach in and grab what you need to grab. Don't grab it. You want to cup it. So this is what I'll do. I'll usually let go of my shirt then. I'll grab the, my, one side of my shorts with my right, and I kind of spread it apart. Same thing with the other side. And then you see, I got underwear on, and I got fly underwear. So there, I do the same thing with the fly on my underwear. I grab it just like I do my, my pants right here, open it up. And then what I'll do, I'll reach in, like I said, you don't want to open it up and grab it. Bad experience, you don't want to do that. And I'll just reach in, I'll kind of cup, and I'll bring it, I'll cup it, and I'll bring it out, do what I got to do, and I'll do the same thing, putting it back in. Close it all up. Zip up. That's how it goes. Clean yourself up real good, you know. Got to stay clean. So that's how I go do number one. Uh, it's fairly easy, not too bad. Uh, just had to teach myself how to do it. Just a little practice is all it took. Uh, and also being asked online how I do I use a towel, how do I hold on to a, a towel when I get out of the shower because I, I actually take a shower without any arms on. And uh, what I do, my mom, her name is Judy, God bless her, she's a lovely lady. But uh, what she does, she'll sew these pockets. As you can see, let me get this up here. You see the pockets that are sewn into this towel. And what I do is, after I get out of the shower, I'll just take my stump, my residual limb here, like here, I'll just show you. And what I'll do, I'll just, you can make paint this thing. It's usually hanging up on, on the door back there. But uh, as you can see what I can do here, I just put it in my stump there and I'll do the other side and that's how I dry off. And every now and again, I gotta throw it on my bed and I'll just lay down on the bed and I'll just wallow around like a fish come dry. You know, the more I do it, the the, the easier it gets. So uh, I've been doing the same setup with these towels in the bed for 13 years now. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's how this amputee goes does his uh, number one in the bathroom. Let me get this arm back on. And uh, how I hold on to a towel when I get out of the shower. <laughs> All right, everybody. Everybody stay safe. Everybody stay you, stay positive, stay healthy, and be safe. Love y'all. Later.